Back everybody courtside in the field house. Charlie Chitwood joined now post game after the women's by head coach Jason Burton. Coach, that was a pretty good way to grab a win that you really, really wanted bad. You were banged up, dinged up, but you were finally coming home, got out there and defended the floor and got the win 73 to 65. Man, our team played. They played really well, and they came out the first quarter. We talked about this getting stopped. We talked about defense, and they came out, and I thought that was the best defensive performance we put on this year in that first quarter. Just came out, got stops. For the most part, It was a. they only had four points. They scored six points late in the first quarter, um, and some of that was at the free throw line with us attempting to take charges. We were, we were attempting to make the right defensive play, um, and they didn't miss from the free throw line. Like they, they shot extremely well from, I mean, 100% from the free throw line today. But I, I thought we came out and, and just followed a game plan to a tee and played hard and played together. And we talked about being a tough team, and we showed a lot of toughness tonight. And uh, had, we needed people to step up and play big for us today. And we had a whole team that stepped up and played big. Um, you know, Zaria Collins, that was the player that we recruited, and she had an opportunity to just to play um, a lot of minutes today and did it on both ends of the floor. Had to guard their best player, and she did it for, what, 30 minutes, and then she scored the ball for us and it was very effective around the basket. And I thought she played with confidence. I thought Jasmine Payne came out, man, and hit some big shots for us, had some great attacks to the basket. Is that, that and, was our <laughs> Jasmine Payne, right? That was our Jasmine Payne. That was, you know, we – She's been somebody that, you know, can shoot the ball, can stretch the floor. I thought some of her attacks um, offensively, and she had to play defense for us too, and, and I'm not going to on the line. You know, a lot of what Olivia Russell and Dorian Norris and Mia Deck do, it doesn't necessarily show up on the stat sheet because it's just defense, getting deflections, getting stops. Dorian Norris played 36 minutes today, 37, and, you know, that's got to be a career high as far as minutes. Sure. And we needed all of them because of her length and what she just does defensively. Um, man, great game, and Layla Lawrence couldn't stay out of foul trouble, but in the minute she played, she rebounded the ball well, um, scored the ball effectively. Uh, our whole team, man, we, we, we really came together today um, and played, a, played an outstanding game and, and uh, told them in the locker room, I haven't been more proud of this team uh, because you, you, you could hear Des the entire game, you know. Um, the, the, the players that, that weren't playing today that were hurt, they were the loudest ones on our bench today, and they were active, and they were engaged, and they were keeping our team uh, excited and hype and focused. And every time the Houston Christian made a run, I thought we did a great job of, of withstanding their run and, and bouncing back and never got discouraged, never got down on each other. We just continued to play, continued to fight, and found a way to win today. Tell you what, uh, with the foul trouble that Layla was getting into, couldn't have been a better time for Jasmine Payne to have a breakout game. Five times before today, her previous best was two points in a contest. Today, she kind of torched that by hitting five out of six. Did you know she had three pointers in her pocket like that? Yeah, you know, um, she's a player that she won the national championship or was on the national championship team at, at Tyler Junior College. Right. To, um, to get out the first round. They were the last seed in the tournament. To get out the first round, they, she had to hit a three for her team to go to overtime in the national, the national tournament. It's not a bigger shot in her career than then a three-pointer in the corner, and, and um, you know, I thought today when she had her opportunity, she, she shot the ball with confidence. She attacked the basket with confidence, um, and we needed double figures from somebody else. We needed someone to, be able to step up and score, especially when you know Jordan and Layla were in foul trouble. Those, those are two of our our uh, interior scores that have been really productive for us when, when given opportunities, and um, you know they were in foul trouble a lot of the game, and ja our Jasmine came in and did a really really good job of. of um, taking over that scoring load that we needed today. All right, it was spread around pretty well for your squad. You had four in double digits. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes you'll have two or three, and that's with the some of the players that are hurt right now. And you get four of them spread around. Zaria was 16 to lead everybody. Layla and Jasmine both with 13. You know, Jasmine almost looked like a, a, a redheaded version of Layla out there. Yeah, well, those, those are the two friends, the sister friends right there. Um, yeah, I, I just thought we were very efficient today, and I thought the shots that we took, we got the ball in our spots. Um, we made great reads, like, up from some of our motion, our, some of our action, our, our attacks from the high post were really good. Um, but we got the ball exactly where we wanted to get it, and they capitalized off of it. And I was, so I was, I was pleased with our shot selection and then the defensive end, man. To hold them to 33%, if they don't – 
if they don't get to the free throw line as much, if we can hold them from getting up to the free throw line, you know, that's a game that we hold this team in the 50s. And I think this is a, we are a team that's capable of, of, of really guarding at a high level uh, with the people that we have on the floor. Coach, your guards, and they, you had to go deep on the bench to have two of them out there at a time, or three, but fewer turnovers than their opponent. They had a hand in some of those TOs by the Huskies. You had to be proud of the effort of Nia Harmon, and you didn't get too much playing time out in the Kale today, uh, but you know, together, that's almost 19 minutes for the pair. Yeah, yeah, you know, we had five players with two fouls in the first half, and um, you know, we needed people to, to to step up in their opportunities, and I thought they did a good job. And you know, um, both of them with active hands. I thought Nye had a good attack to the basket, uh, had a good look from three that that you know went out, but played well um, on both ends of the floor. I thought I thought our zone was effective with with, with uh, Nye out there, and that's one of the things we talked about the shooter on the day was just kind of cleaning up her defense, and I think she took she took advantage of that um, when she had her opportunity and, and did a great job of dispelling people when we, when we needed them. And both of them were, were, were big. And, you know, some of the shots for, for Kale aren't, aren't falling right now, but they're going to fall. You know, she, she missed so many games. She missed so much time. Um, it's, and there's not a whole lot of practice time just to get your reps in. And, right. and um, when you're on the road, which you know, we have been lately, it's tough to get in the gym and get any extra shots in. So, you know, as we get in some of these home stretches, I think, you know, Kale's going to have to find an opportunity to get in the gym a little bit more. Um, get her rhythm back on her shot, and, and she's going to be fine. But, you know, we, it's it's for, for what we've had to go through, man, this year and, and the being shorthanded, what a, what a performance by by our team today. And, and um, uh, collectively, all nine that, that were suited out played and played well. All right, well, congratulations on the dub. It is the first of the Jalen Burton era, by the way. <laughs> Don't forget that. You What's may funny? be losing players, What's but you're getting kids. Is when, when Braylon was born, we went on a run. We went on a run, and my wife always says that, you know, we had, we had Braylon, y'all, and y'all didn't lose after that. So, you know, uh, it's, I guess I got to have more kids. All right, well, <laughs> can't, well, you can't have them fast enough. I'm, <laughs> it's great to uh, see the team do so well for you today. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And now you get ready for uh, next week, go down to Thibodeau, yep. and then bounce back to the Merce, and we'll actually stick around here for a little while. Yeah, that would be nice. So we, we got a chance. We had a little – Losing streak for two games, but we got a chance right now to bounce back, and, and we need to get this one today. We got to go on a road to Nichols and, and, and get a road win, and then it'd, it'd be, a, it'd be uh, great to be at home for a little while. So I think we got back to back games at home after that, McNeese and the Northwestern State. So. Only only time we have it in a single week. Yeah, so it's not even in a the week, they're split. Yeah, it's yeah. Saturday, then Thursday. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so, well, I can't. It's tough. If I don't have it in front of me, it's tough. To and then, hey, that, that next Saturday, though, we, we got a fan bus going out to Northwestern State. Oh, very good. So that, that's going to be big. If you're listening to have a chance to get on that fan bus to Northwestern State, you know, those, those games are, are big for us. We get into February and, and we start to, you know, separate the top from the bottom. You know, our goal is to stay at the top. And, and um, I don't know what the other teams did today, but, you know, with this win, we'll, we'll consistently put ourselves in that top two right there. So. Uh, or top three, uh, with, with us, being, us being tied with Southeastern. But right. Right, you know, right. I think they play next week. So, you know, eventually people got to gotta take L's. And so we just got to keep taking care of business and hopefully we can get Des healthy sooner rather than later. All right, man. Congratulations again. Good stuff. And uh, we'll do it again when the next time rolls around yep. in South Louisiana. Yep, Folks. You.